Now after that node architecture, if we have decide all the units, we uh, design the PCB, we fabricate all these nodes, fix the node on the architectures and everything is perfectly working. We assume that our node is ready. Now what next is the data aggregation. So node generate the data. Okay. The, the nodes are deployed inside the field of internet, they generate the data and uh, multiple nodes they transmit this data to each other and say for example one node they uh, you know the data comes from the different different nodes definitely they need to aggregate this data so aggregation means the collection and the fusion of the data from multiple node to reduce the amount of the data that need to be transmitted to the same so if uh, we can make a y shape sort of things so if we make a y shape sort of thing there are two nodes are there one center point is there if the center point they collect the data from these two nodes that there are two ways either they can directly transmit data one after another in that case data transmission is used and, and data transmission is used that definitely they consume huge energy and also not suitable for the low data rate network so in that case the other alternative is the data aggregation we can reduce the size of the data uh, various techniques are there we will see so reduce size of the data that means a small size of the data they consume less energy as compared to the low data and uh, one after another and also it takes less time to transmit the data to the base station or to the sinks. So for the data aggregation that means uh, say for example if you have the two data A and B you can take the average of A plus B by 2. This is the only once again we comes to the one data that means 50% we can reduce the data in that case save the 50% energy. So here we can say the help is to conserve the energy reduce network traffic because the data size is reduced then network traffic automatically goes down. And uh, it helps to improve the accuracy that is very interesting sometimes we say that okay reduce the data means uh, you lose the information but uh, reduce the data also sometimes they helps to improve the accuracy why because they reduce the noise when you transmit the data in a wireless manner definitely noise comes into the picture if the noise is 30 percent noise or 20 percent noise say for example we can say if you transmit the 10 data then two data three data are noisy data like this one if you transmit the less data then less noise is less Another reason is that uh, improve the accuracy is that aggregation decision. That means if you have the three nodes and you decide uh, you can transmit only two node data. So one sensor they say the 40 degree temperature, other two say they are the 21 and 22 degree temperature. You can select the best two sensor data and transmit it. That is the data aggregation. So best two data is the data aggregation. Then definitely you can improve the accuracy. Why? Because 40 degree sensor those they observe maybe possible they are the faulty maybe possible there are some issues are there if majority says they are the 21 22 degrees temperature then 21 22 is the better so <coughs> aggregation not only to reduce the energy but also helps to make the accuracy now uh, of course everything positive and negative is there so aggregation gives a lot of advantages but have some issues not disadvantage but limitation or issues are there one is uh, introduce the latency or the delay in the network so can introduce the latency delay so when you do the aggregation say for example you have uh, three sensor connected and wait for the data of the three sensor then you can pick the two sensory data which is the best one data that means wait comes into the picture whenever waiting time is there whenever the aggregation procedure or aggregation algorithms work there then it takes time so in that case we can say the latency comes or delay comes into the picture real time that is whatever the data comes and very fraction of the second you can transmit not possible you need to do the aggregation so latency is there and delay is there this is an issue so if your application can tolerate such type of the delay and latency then you can go to the data aggregation step. and uh, of course the data loss or uh, corruption is also there because you can take the aggregation so data loss is also there so uh, there is a trade-off between the energy consumption network traffic and data accuracy so uh, if you compress the data definitely you can save the energy but maybe possible uh, that means uh, latency is increased or not how much latency increase when you compress the data what energy saving is there whether the energy saving is more uh, uh, aggregation point of view or communication point of view say for example aggregation takes the x energy consumption and communication take y if aggregation take more energy as compared to com communication x is greater than y then why we are doing the data aggregation for energy perspective your Processing takes more energy as compared to com communication. In that case, nothing to be used. So definitely there are trade-off. You are not directly use the data aggregation. First, you need to check that how much energy we can save, what network traffic we can reduce, and what accuracy we can achieve if we are doing this thing, and uh, what latency added if my application supports such type of latency or not. So all these points is the part of the data aggregation. These are some standard techniques. There are uh, three standard techniques in the data aggregation. 
one is the statistical aggregation so whatever the data is uh, from their neighbor sensor they combine the data from the multiple nodes using some statistical functions whatever the fixed uh, mathematical functions such as the mean variation standard deviation and you can use the result of the mean as a final aggregated data so if there are the some multiple data someone says that okay i can use the mean mod or standard deviation or the average sort of thing so take all the data divided by the number of nodes are there so these are the mean sort of thing so whatever the data from the node 1 whatever the data node 2 node 3 we can take the data divide by the number of node and this is my aggregated data i can transfer so such approach is known as the statistical approach so sometime uh, mean is the good sometime median good mod good standard deviation it depends on your data types it depends on uh, your applications which type of the uh, statistical aggregation is suitable so most of the cases people use the average so, okay whatever the data is comes take the average and transmit that thing. like this one. because they assume that the environment is same sensor type is the same so of course the both data sensor data is also the same one is the another uh, technique is the spectral uh, aggregation here uh, we worried about the location so grouping not based on their geographical locations uh, so it, uh, say for example every very big campus is there various departments are there and nodes are deployed here by the department so Uh, why we are collected all the node uh, data from the different different department do the aggregation better we can take the aggregation within a one department not whatever the nodes is there so that we can measure the uh, that uh, air quality we can measure the noise level only within the department so geographical location and geo location geo fancy is also an important so such type of uh, special data they worried about the location so they do all these operation with respect to the location <coughs> so in that case we, we can say some uh, center of the location and they can make some radius and whatever the nodes within that radius they can take the data and do all these things in that case so this is the same formula so says you have the n nodes you can use some function aggregation function here and take the decision so uh, sometimes that what we can do we can take the average value or we can take the minimum or the maximum values like this one aggregation so noise level so noise level why we are collecting all the sensors data 1 2 3 4 in a one building we need to make the noise level of that building that means whatever the maximum noise that is the noise of that building we are not worried about the low noisy environment we are worried about the noise of that building that means whatever the noise uh, uh, inside the building that we need to monitor and uh, so maximum of the noise is uh, important for us but say for example in the winter season the temperature so whatever the sensor they Uh, that not down the minimum temperature that is the useful for us and now uh, more than the temperature is nothing to be useful in that case so minimum and maximum is uh, such type of uh, the uh, approaches they use this that so previously we used the location now we use the time period so this is a temporary aggregation so when you aggregate the data with respect to that time so say for example if you want to monitor the uh, vehicles in the day time so why we are do the aggregation of the day and night time vehicles better we can collect the sensor data and do the aggregation only the sensors though they collect the day time data not the night time like this one. so time period if you consider the time period while selecting of the data for the aggregation purpose or do the aggregation with that one then <coughs> time period we can monitor so over up now it depends on your uh, that application that whether you want to consider entire 12 hours day time or you want to consider the one hours two hours and other things like this one. so we can aggregate the data hourly based we can data aggregate the data that entire day data like this one but that is there so uh, these are the three techniques one is the first technique that what mathematical function is used for the aggregation if you are not uh, worried about the location or the time or reverse if you can say that you have no information about the location and the time if you not use any clock that means you are not able to note down the time whatever the data they Uh, collect and they store then transmit the data you are not you don't know about the timing similar is if they have no such uh, geo fancy you are not note down the id when you deploy the sensors and there is no location features is there then you are not able to find out the location so if you have no option then definitely you have only one option is statistical data so in that case you can whatever the data is there without any location without any time we can take the mean <coughs> or these uh, techniques but if you have the uh, location information and your application also with respect to location so noise level is the location is effective say for example uh, that uh, agricultural land and you want to switch on the water pump in a one region or water pump in the entire region so if you that is a location based that here the moisture level is very less that means definitely you need to switch on the 
water pump uh, so that uh, in that direction you know some water goes uh, on so that is the location based not uh, randomly you can open the for all these regions so location is the important sometimes the time is the important if you want to monitor the office then day time is the much more important as compared to night time so this time there we can take the aggregation or take the decision based on only the day time data not average of the day and night time data so this is the best on your application what application is there and what application you are using <coughs>